Hello guys and welcome to lab number 14. In this lab we are learning about yet a different type of a lens, so-called Fresnel lens. This type of a lens has found many different types of applications, such as in lighthouses, uh, traffic lights, TVs, projectors, aircraft, landing systems, etc. It's been created by a French scientist named Augustin Fresnel back in 1823 and used in a lighthouse that's located in France to uh, help navigate the ships along the coastline. Uh, this type of a lens is uh, different in the construction than uh, our regular types of uh, biconcave or biconvex lenses that we learned about in lab 12 and lab 13. It's a very thin type of a lens. It's made out of a plastic substrate. It's a flexible and being thin and uh, flexible and uh, very easy to be manufactured and it's relatively inexpensive however these types of lenses produce uh, less of a quality of, a, of an image relative to the traditional type of a lenses so that's the price that you're paying for the relative affordability of this type of a lens so in this lab we are going to define the fresnel lens its major characteristics we are going to set a practical uh, hands-on experiment uh, to measure the focal length of a fresnel lens and finally you're also going to have us a small homework to find out about different types of applications of Fresnel lenses. The equipment to be used in this lab consists of a flashlight to be used as a light source, a flashlight holder, a Fresnel lens, and then a lens holder to be used to hold the Fresnel lens. For measurement we are going to use a measuring tape, and for recording data, we are going to use the pencil and a white sheet of paper. So in this first part of the lab, we are going to inspect the Fresnel lens. We want to look at its uh, circular glove pattern, thickness, weight. You can see that the substrate out of which this lens is made is very flexible. And then you also would want to investigate its uh, magnifying effect. So we can see here down on our white sheet of paper, we have our measuring tape. And as we position this lens about one and a half to two inches away from the measuring tape, we can see its magnifying effect. What you can see is that this Fresnel lens consists of circular groves etched on a thin plastic substrate. It's very lightweight and thin, can be manufactured in very large sizes, designs at minimum cost. It's also important to mention that uh, this lens has a very low absorption levels that are typical for this type of a lens. Conventional glass lens with a comparable aperture and focal length would be much thicker compared to this type of a lens and consequently heavier and more expensive. Due to the spherical and chromatic aberrations that are happening in the case of Fresnel lenses, the image quality is reduced, so they tend to be used only where quality is not important or where the bulk of a solid lens would be prohibitive. So bottom line is Fresnel lens has its pros and cons. So the pro, again, uh, pros are uh, lightweight, uh, very thin and relatively inexpensive, but the price that you're paying is the quality of the images that it is producing. Okay, so here's the setup for this lab. I have positioned the flashlight onto the flashlight holder and then positioned both the flashlight and flashlight holder at a distance of about 100 centimeters away from the back screen. As you can see here, I have the measuring tape that runs uh, perpendicular to the back screen and parallel around my uh, desk. And here in the back, I have a flashlight. It's, as I said, important for the flashlight to be far away from the back screen in order to uh, uh, imitate the case of the light source at an infinite distance that's produced using the light rates propagating in parallel directions. That's an important condition for this lab to be successful uh, because the Fresnel lens is going to be focusing the parallel light rays into its focal point. So again, flashlight with a flashlight holder has to be positioned at a significant distance of about 80 to 100 centimeters away from the back screen. And this whole lab now consists of uh, moving the lens, the Fresnel lens in a holder back and forth until we see a very, very clear image uh, of the flashlight LEDs on the back screen. So as you can see here, if I start moving this lens closer, the image starts being very blurry. And then also if I move it farther away, it also gets blurry. So there is a sweet spot at which we are going to have a very, very uh, crispy and sharp image of the LEDs from the flashlight on the back screen. So that's what you do, what would you want uh, to accomplish. So here I'm going to find that sweet spot and I'm also going to zoom uh, in the camera so that you can clearly see this image. So if I keep moving back and forth, you can see how this image uh, gets blurred. 
and there's a specific position at which it's very clear and crispy so at that point we are going to stop moving our final lens and then measure the distance from the back screen all the way to the lens and that is going to be our focal length focal length of this Fresnel lens so based by what we are measuring, it looks like the, our lens is positioned at about 21 and a half centimeter away from the screen. So if we're measuring along this uh, measuring tape, our Fresnel lens away from the back screen is about 21.5 centimeters. So the focal length of this Fresnel lens is about 21.5 centimeter. Mm -hmm.